Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Slope Podcast, uh, episode hey, 68. It's your hey. weekly podcast where we talk about Sakamichi series news, so that's going to be Nogizaka 46, Kyakizaka 46, Hinatazaka 46, Yoshimoto Zaka 46. We don't forget As about always, you. I am Never. Soltaku, aka, or Jimmy, aka Soltaku, uh, joined by my co-host and friends, Josh, Mr. Josh Box, and boy, Boy Kuhn. Yes. Hello. What's up, boys? How you doing? Doing all Good. right. <clears throat> um, yeah. Nothing, nothing. Oh, wait. I took a, I had an exam and it was like oh. the worst thing ever. Oh, <laughs> oof. oh no. <laughs> Big oof, my guy. Yeah. So over the weekend, we did stuff. I met up mm-hmm. with Josh and we had dinner. That was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks. it was good <laughs> in the beginning, for, right? Thanks yeah. for the invite. Uh-huh. And then, uh, you know, as we got our food, it was like, oh no! <laughs> I saw you guys. You guys went ham, right? Such you got a mistake. Korean barbecue and a hot pot at the same place. <laughs> at First the of all, same what kind of place does time. this? That's like that just sounds mean. No, you can do either like one or the other. And then Josh was mm-hmm. like, "Let's do both." And I was like, <laughs> "Wait, wait, where, where's this at? Where's this at? I think I might know." It's in the city of industry. Okay, never mind. It's not the place I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, but like the next day, the, like the day after that, I had Brazilian barbecue. Ooh, which that is also, churrascuria, dude. Yeah, which is also like all you can eat. <laughs> that was so yeah, almost, days. <laughs> it wasn't as bad as my dinner with Josh, but it didn't help my studies for that exam Ooh. is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> You know, some that the protein would be good for brain you development. Know, rest in peace, my grade. <laughs> Damn. Well, hopefully, That's when odd. you get it back, you'll be pleasantly surprised. No, um, no, works okay, for me. <laughs> uh, there's only five questions, but they're pretty like involved. You know, mm, and I'm looking were you, like. Were you able to answer them? I'm looking at question one. I'm like, uh, maybe I'll skip to two. <laughs> Uh-huh. All right, let's try number three this time. <laughs> now write some things, and it's like, okay, let's, let's see how four looks like. And I flip the page, and it's like, how about five? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was me for like an hour and a half. <laughs> Just like incrementally going through each number <laughs> instead of completing one and going to the next. That's, that's when you, you, you wish, bad. like, you, you better hope that they, like... Give you some points for creativity. You know what I mean. I'm hoping the whole class will fail so that the professor will do Ooh, something that curve, about it, dude. Because <laughs> she was like, like oh. "Oh, maybe I shouldn't have assigned the test after you know coming back from the weekend because mm-hmm. it seems like y'all forgot everything." <laughs> like, oh, I uh, went to eat meat <laughs> two so. days in a row. <laughs> yeah. How how are you guys? I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Why are you tired, So, uh, Saturday was uh, Annie Fest 2019. is the event I've been talking about that uh, me and some friends put on. Um, Josh Box and Boy Kuhn came out. Thank you, guys. Um, means a lot. And, uh, yeah, it was a really big success. We had a like pretty large turnout, more so than last year. Nice. Um, all of our guests were very happy. Um, like as far as like attendees as well as special guests that we invited and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we got some other stuff planned down the pipeline. Um, obviously I can't really go into that too much, but all in all, it was really good. Uh, I had to MC the main stage. So I was like pretty much standing up the entire time. All right. Oh, that's fun. And then, so, and it was like, it's all concrete, you know, so you, it doesn't absorb any of your, like mass or anything like that, right? Just <laughs> reflect, you know, physics and you get the the force acting back on you, right? And mm-hmm. then so like my feet were just so jacked and like swollen by the end of the day that like Sunday I could like barely walk. <laughs> and then I had like a friend potluck that we planned like for Sunday. Which I really regret doing. Like, I was, like, unrelated <laughs> to Anifest? So yeah, yeah, like- yeah. It's just like Cause like okay, so after Annie Fest, you know, everyone wants to go eat and stuff like that and celebrate and stuff like that. But I was like, no, I am going home. Cause like, <laughs> cause I had to be, I had to like start prepping food and stuff like that. Is uh, 
like the next morning, you know. Ah, so yeah. otherwise, I would have crashed there another night. I see. But then, um, so yeah, like had a had it was it was a good time, but I was just like frying wings in the the back of my house, like this, this more sucks, standing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to get like a large stool just to just to get it, and then um, what is it? And then today, I had a. Uh, I had to go back because, like, uh, I mentioned before, but getting ready for this meet, so I don't really have much time left. So I can't, like, miss any workouts, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Like, if I were to not go that day, that and then that, like, that workout's just gone. I can't make it up. So, um, so I had to do squats to, like, today. And then I went home and I'm, like, tired. And then uh, decided, like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta watch Sakamichi Televi. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> bad idea, dude. It was just like, all right, we're gonna interview. <laughs> 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 so I missed, like, like I, I pretty much slept, like, since then. And then uh, when I got up, I was like, I was planning on uploading or you know publishing the, the our new video. Uh, uh, if you guys are watching this, we got a new video up. I was uh, gonna wait till my turn to say it, but okay. Anyways, I won't say what it is. You're but, supposed uh, to link it because it had you know some things happen at Anifest that is related. But uh, that's true. carry on. I'll let but, you do uh, your thing. You know, I just like I was like, oh, I wanted to have this video published today. All right, let's do it. So I just got up and like did it. But then, uh, so that's why that video literally came out like. 15 minutes before uh, the show started. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got a new video. Josh, you want to? Yeah, you talk about it, bud. You, you worked hard for it. Mention what it is for the people. All right. For the good so people. if you're watching live, then on our channel, or if you're watching on the channel itself, well, there you go. Just click on the Slope Club logo, and then you can see the other videos that we released. And you'll see recently there's one by the name of Josh tries to become an idol. And let's just say that that's what it's did. me trying to become an idol. <laughs> All and right. I'll let you watch the video. Um, determine how much how inspiration I got from Iguchi Mao. <laughs> Oh, oh! You're going for a Gucci Mao? Okay, then you did fantastic, dude. <laughs> Amazing job. Uh, um, yeah. So I went through the process of learning how to become an idol. That's singing, dancing, appealing, the whole shebang. Um, mm-hmm. and yeah, you can watch the video to find out exactly how I did and see my progress. All right. What's Ray Sama, my guy? Hmm. Good work now, on that one. Now I can welcome you as uh, my co-hi oh, yeah. in an <laughs> idol business. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just two idols and a boy. Uh, I'm not uh, the idol type. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, when before we started, I'll be the guy who uh, takes advantage of the fame and just hangs out around them. All the time. You know, like we're like rappers, they have like posse dudes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Just like hang out with them all the time. So you're a posse? That's me. Yeah, so instead of like uh giving I'll be us the hype like, guy, you know. Yeah, instead of giving us fan chance, you just give us like ad libs, you know? Yeah, you know, like yeah, I'll be like Migos and shit. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Stuff like that. Skirt, in, skirt. in idle music. That's right. You know the starts the chance, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, have a look at the video. You know, mm-hmm. leave your lovely comments of uh, how Josh did and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, um, you guys notice we we kind of went ham on the the production value for that 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 video. <laughs> you can you see in the background. <laughs> yeah, like everything stepped up quite a bit, and you know it's uh, it's not it's not cheap. You know, getting the equipment and the people together. To, to do stuff like that so yeah. because you know to, to to be able to continue to do that we got to bring back the shilling corner oh oh look at that correct i thought friend. i was gonna mention the patreon or subscribing on twitch but uh too but you know i wanted a <laughs> meme i wanted a meme uh you can support us for real or we can fake support ourselves with 
The Shilling Corner. Yes, that's right. And uh, um, the Aeon card is back this week. Oh, it's back. Talked about it a few episodes back, you know. Mm-hmm. We have a card for students if you spend it on Aeon. Ooh. 5% cash back. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Uh, but we talked about all that stuff already. The new thing here is uh, they have new commercials, and it's very dramatic. Mm-hmm. And um, most notably the Nagaha Maneru one, because she's graduating. Oh. <sighs> Right, it's like a whole movie. How could you, Nehru? Why? Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much the way it's shot and the way it looks. Uh, it looks like a Kayaki video. Mm-hmm. It's very Kayaki video, but is it just me? I feel a little bit uncomfortable about the fact that like they're using Kuroi Hitsuji commercially. <laughs> Like, with, like, like it goes against against what it's meant to be about. That is the yeah. Uh, it's problem it's, with Kiaki altogether. I think it sours my mouth a little bit. You know what I mean? Right? Like, like uh, the subject matter they they sing about and stuff mm-hmm. is very anti whatever it is corporate. Like those songs are being used like, for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of yeah. like I don't get it. But anyway. it's, they're like in the Banksy dilemma, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where Banksy's like super against like uh, commercialism and art, but then his paintings sell for like hundreds of thousands. Art commercialized, mm. right? So it's kind of weird. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, it's cool. I guess their yeah. fans connect with their music a lot, which is... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a nice better. nice little web movie and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. She works so, at like man. some company or whatever. Yeah. Some publication company seems like mm. so that's like what uh, the story is. Uh, you guys can check it out at the Aeon website. There's other ones with, who feature like Habu and Risa, mm. the others who are part of this whole campaign. So, they still need them on the card, then people will buy it. Yes, I need, at I least need... like a kayaki looking design, you know? Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Or every time you, you, you use the little uh like the little chip, you insert it. You know, like how like different places have like little chimes or whatever when it tells you to take your card. I need Kuroi Hitsuji to play every time. <laughs> <laughs> it's until until you pull it out, it plays. Yeah. yeah. Kuroi Hitsuji did it. Like, sir, sir, can you can you please <laughs> remove the card? <laughs> Jimmy's all hugging the cashier person. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> she pushes me away and then now it's like on the rooftop <laughs> wait how do we end up here <laughs> um but yeah that's that does it that's it for the shilling corner this week please buy uh these aeon cards you get five percent cash back mm. now is graduating mm-hmm. sad times yep yeah. if you want to sponsor us uh please email us <laughs> if you want to send us money <laughs> please do so yes um but yeah Let's keep going with the current events here. Um, actually, we sh- uh, it was my bad. We kind of skipped the segment. Oh, because excuse I saw, me. I thought the seg- like the segue was so good. And then like <laughs> I went with it. And then I thought about it after. I was like, oh, wait, we forgot something. All right. So well, I don't forget. Every, every week, uh, Mr. Box works very hard and goes onto our YouTube channel, clicks on the newest podcast episode up on YouTube, <laughs> scrolls through, and he picks his favorite comment. Chosen and we one. share it with y'all on the next episode. Mm-hmm. So that would be that time, Mr. Box. All right. All right. My comment of the week. It's from Danny, who just actually gave us 20,000 bits. Which Ooh, is I knew you were going to. Okay, hold on. No, 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 no. Give me, give me, go, and I'll tell you what I was going to say. Damn. Um, it says, quote of the week. Please read this with no regard for context. Okay, so I don't forget context. Jimmy, I know what a horse does. You want me to get on all fours? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is we're talking about galloping. I can't believe uh-huh. you chose this instead of like a meaningful discussion. See, that's what God I thought. Okay, so what I was going to say, I was up. like... I got to mix it up. I said two... I, I, earlier, I said like, I had two choices that Josh was going to go with. I'm like, there's... I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to influence. I was like, there's going to be the wholesome pick... Mm-hmm. And the lewd boy pick. 
and I think I know which one he's going with. Danny, so cute. <laughs> and he went with the lewd boy pick, Sasuga Mr. Box. Okay. It, it depends on the mood. See, I do that so like there's balance. There's wholesome comments and there's <laughs> and there's like Okay, we just funny yeah, we just shouted out some wholesome last week, so then we now now mm-hmm. we gotta all right. That is, we, gotta, uh, we gotta give it some lewd some love. Okay. But you gotta mix it up. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Danny, for the comment. Thank you. Um, Danny's a big supporter. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm. The big homie, dude. Big, uh, much thanks to Danny. Yeah. Um, but you guys... He, uh, he actually is featured in the video that we just released. You can see him. Oh, yeah. In the, uh, in the footage. He is? Oh, is that oh. why you picked his? Look at Freaking that. Freaking nepotism, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you see Thanks, him for like Danny, a little always. bit. Yeah, thank you, Danny. So, um, but yeah, it's not too late. You guys can always be featured next week or the week after that. All you gotta do is uh, leave a comment and hope that based box picks yours. I might pick a wholesome one. I might pick a lunar. I pick an informational, oh, or maybe yeah. I'll pick something else. You never know until yeah. you comment. There you go. Possibilities are endless. So the point is, don't don't try to crack the code. There is none. Okay. But anyways, that's uh, enough of that. Let's get on to some I... current events. We don't have too much by way of... Uh, it's all Nogizaka, pretty much, mostly, <laughs> uh, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Hinatazaka mm-hmm. 46, of course, releasing their debut single, Kyun. Uh, they've mm-hmm. been slowly releasing uh, previews, like music videos and whatnot. Um, this week, they released some uh, previews from the Blu-ray content. And they have some individual documentaries mm-hmm. of the members. That's right. You can go to their YouTube channel and check it out. Uh, there's one for every member. One for every member. Look at that. Um, who are you? Who do you guys want to? Or who have you seen? Have you checked it out? No, I watched. Uh, I will watch Saito Kyoko's because she's not my available favorite. in the country. Oh, I watched uh, Nabu's. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much uh you know from the beginning they got some very cinematic you know interview shots. Yeah. Uh, also, some nice uh, cinematic shots in mm. general. Um, very documentary style. There's a. Some old pictures of her performing, like before she was in Hinata or Hirgana Keaki. Mm. Is um, it some without her bangs? I am scrubbing through and I don't see any. So it shows them like at the audition and getting chosen and whatnot. Um, it's mostly the same for everyone, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get some mixed in, like depending on whatever theme they go with, right? Like yeah. uh, Nibu's goes into like, you know, she's do kendo. So you have like. You know, the, the walking interview shots mixed with some cinematic kendoing mm-hmm. and then like slideshow pictures of like the past, right? Yeah. Yep. Maybe a few BTS stuff of like early Hiragana slash Hinata Zaka days. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they just say like, oh, you know, I want to be an idol or what I want. Mm. This is what I wanted to do, blah, blah, blah. Stuff like that. Yeah. Very you know, standard documentary. Um, but it's pretty cool that it, you know everyone has their own little history or story, I guess. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and they're done like pretty well, right? Like I thought it was gonna be since they're gonna do everyone, you get these like budget little videos, you know? Yeah, like yeah. them sitting in a in a room somewhere in the Sony Music office, like. Right. Oh, so uh, I joined at this age. I started doing this, you know. Yeah. But, but if, you know, these are all like uh, the odd, like they each had a solo shoot. Um, mm-hmm. and like interview and all that stuff so that's pretty cool mm-hmm. put some work into this and uh, it's pretty nice mm-hmm. make sure Look at to that. check it out guys I'm gonna check it out mm-hmm. and so that does it for Hinata Zaka now who's next next is uh <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be no a news from now on there's not a lot back of back news, oh dude. oh boy no gizaka news i bet it's exciting news right guys there's not a lot of uh 
uh, Kiaki stuff. So let's move to Nogi Zaka. <clears throat> you mean over there playing um, the, the flute or something? <laughs> Ito Karin announced her graduation. Oh, God geez. damn it. Um, this was kind I think of. The, a, I think we all saw the writing on the wall mm, once like, yeah. she was wrapping up her Shogi show. Mm-hmm. Right. Moving on, passing it on to, to Mukai. As, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We yeah. talked about it. As we've uh, mentioned before. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Karin wrote a blog. She was like, I'm out. Do- deuces. So, uh, you know, she'll be doing the fourth album events until like May or something like that. Mm-hmm. May 11. And so, there's not much details after that. I feel like a lot of them are now like not not saying details on what they'll do after. Yeah, they're just like saying like, all trend. right, it's time for me to wrap mm. it up and go. Mm-hmm. Um, they might have plans, you know, but they don't want to reveal yet. Or maybe mm-hmm. they're still trying to figure out stuff. Who knows? Mm-hmm. But, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Sucks to see so many members leave. Uh, mm-hmm. It's like one after another like that. Yeah. You know, Eto Misa just left I mean, last week. <laughs> <laughs> Hasn't even been a week. Mm-hmm. And then Kari would be like, uh, so, what up? You know? Here's my resignation. <laughs> but, but it's probably been planned because it always is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it sucks to see Karen go, but, you know, I, I think. I think she'd probably find more opportunities for herself outside of Nogizaka, right? It's not like, I don't know. I, I would be more upset if it was like like a graduation from like a third gen member or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Where you mm-hmm, feel like they're mm-hmm. like still kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, that's like uh, me. Lu- Yui left, right? Oh no, wait. Uh, that's exactly my thought with the, these groups, right? Second gen, they've been around for more than. What, like five years now, right? Mm hmm. Uh, which is usually like the, is... the. That's the age of the idol, right? Yeah. Like the yeah. 10 plus years ones are the ancient ones. And there's not many of them, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think my only thing is that I wish that second gen got a little bit more attention, right? I think everyone does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like, like, like kind of the only regret I have, but I mean. Yeah, it's I can cool. I can do? see why like it didn't last because when they added second gen, Nogizaka wasn't the idol group they yeah, are true. now. Mm-hmm. Uh, similar to the other group, right? The other group has many generations that are pretty forgotten. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So they were, they kind of came at a bad time versus mm-hmm. third gen, who's like really. We popular. are here for the peak. <laughs> Let me just slide right on in. What's mm-hmm. up? So. Yeah. Well, you took care of to wish you the best of luck. I uh, mm-hmm. hope you enjoy your time with Nogizaka until May. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope it's filled with uh, fun memories. Indeed. Um, hopefully we don't hear about any more graduations until then. Because that would be really awful. <laughs> yeah. So mm-hmm. let's move on to the next topic here. Saito Yuri announced her graduation. Uh, this one I really did not see coming. Since Me Karin uh, announced her graduation like three days before, right? Mm-hmm. So like, like right after. Uh, it, it was like, oh, what the heck? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, it sucks. I really like Yuktan. Um, we all we all love U10 here, dude. <laughs> so this was a uh, more of a surprise because I didn't expect one so soon, mm-hmm. right after Karen's, right? Karen. Like um, we we let our guard down a little mm-hmm, bit, right? Because mm-hmm. we go, okay, let us focus on morning. Hit us with Ito the one Karen. two, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. and then U10 laid a siege upon our castle, dude. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, she's been a uh, Nogi for like, well, first gen, right? So eight years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, 
She also wrote a blog post, fairly lengthy. Um, and just like Karin, she will do the fourth album events up until May. Um, she did not say what she's going to do. No future plans announced. So we'll see. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's the cursed age, you know. She's turning twenty five or turned twenty five. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're you're entering the age of the ancients. Yeah, she's <laughs> like ah, uh, I have become a true, actualized human being. So you either you know continue being an ancient or you leave. Mm. All right, so. Yeah, so the, the the subunit Suika oh. um, has only one member left who has Hell not no. announced her graduation. Ito Juna. You know, lose all the Itos. All at once, dude. All at once. We're losing the Itos and the Saitos, dude. Yeah. Asuka's just like... Asuka, yeah. <laughs> Can I? <laughs> all, all according to K. Kaku, dude. Can I? I'll be um, the only site to left. <laughs> is it cool if I? No, there must be one. Right, she's there like, must she... be always at least one Saito in the Nogizaka house. <laughs> it's already it's ready. It's like in the in the jacket pocket, in the envelope, and everything, dude. <laughs> Please uh, no, that would make me sad. I feel like they the are going to j- depend on Asuka for a little while longer mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. until the third gens get really settled down mm-hmm. and ready to center. Man, yeah. it just... I don't know, man. It's hard to, like, replace a presence like Yutan's, you know? It was, like, the perfect blend of, like, bubbly, cute, and Tenen, kind of. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, mm, this is... This is an idol, dude. This is this is <laughs> yeah. what I signed up for. Yeah, yeah. Same. So I'll miss her dearly. But we can uh, expect at least two more episodes of No Diego. Oh, yeah? You uh-huh. tan, right? Maybe that's why Maya came back. Oh, no. It was all, it was all, it was all there. All we just didn't piece it together. to cake. Nick was probably like, I, be- oh, I can't tell. I was them. like, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you it's Nick's fault, dude. I can't tell those guys. <laughs> I bet you she saw Nick and was like, oh, is this, is this what I've been missing out is on? This dude, what, is this what the world dude? has to offer? <laughs> uh, I, you know, I thought it was fine before, but now that I see what I've truly been missing out on, I'm going <laughs> to graduate damn. and get me a man, dude. <laughs> <laughs> is she, is she going to join the, the roadie routes and become an international no please no <laughs> i'd be so upset dude you tends to like the opposite yeah that's why the, like, like her okay. kind of idol is why i like j-pop more than yeah 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 than k-pop she's um, like the embodiment of like the kawaii kind of like a- attitude right yeah because it's it's not full booty booty girl mm-hmm. it's just like this just enough, like, cutesy, just enough tenon, just enough, like, you know. Yeah. <sighs> ah. That would be worse than her actually graduating. Like her. <laughs> no, don't, don't be like my hero. <laughs> Put those shorts <laughs> away. <laughs> Put your pants back on. <laughs> no. Anyways. <laughs> no. <laughs> <You're done>. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they're still around, both <laughs> Tan and Karin, so they're not dead yet. Yeah. So we have until May, mm-hmm. and it—I don't think either of them announced that they're like you know gonna stop doing Nogi stuff, like you know Nishino did, right? So mm-hmm. it's pretty soon, but that's how it's been lately, right? And mm-hmm. that's your graduation like a month before. Actually, mm-hmm. so best of luck to both. Yep, and then mm-hmm. follow the month after that, Ooh. Horimiona's movie 
hot gimmick. Oh, I thought we'll you were going to say Instagram. In oh, okay, this is good too. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm hoping the Instagram comes like right away after that. That's a, yeah, that's it. actually a given now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Instagram. I was just trying to, I was just trying to go for that slick uh Yeah, but oh sorry to I interrupt you. Uh, it's all good. Uh, so they're going to be they're doing an adaptation of the shojo classic Hot Gimmick. Mm-hmm. Um I had a girlfriend in high school who read this. I have no idea what it's about. I think it's like young people being beautiful living in some fancy place. I don't know. It's mm-hmm. like it's like every kind of like rich asshole guy and then the innocent, hardworking, poor girl mm. kind of drama, you know? Like, if you guys watch any kind of Asian dramas, you've seen that story it is a quite bajillion the trope. times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, but I think this is one of the, like, trope setters, right? It's, a, it's right. like a really old it's, manga. Yeah, it's not, a like, a new movie they made. It's, like, yeah, yeah. an adaptation of an old story. Mm-hmm. So. so, I think Hori is playing the main uh, protagonist. Yep. Which is uh, really like good for her. I'm like mm-hmm, super stoked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I it's think, not a. Uh, okay. no, no, no. Oh, it's not a like a zombie movie, so I can watch it. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. Like I love, I love these stupid ro- romance dramas. So I'm like, ah, oh, thank you, Hori. Yeah, and you know <laughs> we saw on uh, Nogi Chu, she uh, she's got the chops. Yeah, she can the do chops. some acting. As we've seen briefly on Nogi Chu, so uh, pretty nice. So mm-hmm. Hori is one of the ones who, you know, aside from like Mayan, who's been in movies, right? Out of all the Nogi members, yeah. Um, right, Nishino. Mm-hmm. What is this the first like like her actual starring role? Because right? Asahi so, Nagu had a bunch of Nogi members. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't I, like I don't even. Solo. I almost don't even want to count Asahi Nagu. Like, it's yeah, more, that's like default yeah. them, right? Yeah, yeah. Like Mayan was in a was it a movie? But she was supporting role, right? Yeah, she was like the main what it's called. character. Mm. Uh, Ash was in one. Right. Yeah, Ash the, was in the remake. Like, adaptation, uh, Taiwanese remake. Yeah, that yeah. Uh-huh. that's cool. There's only a few that have actually mm-hmm. done this in Nogizaka. So good for you. Miona. Mm-hmm. It'll be out June 28th. Uh, and I, I'm blessed because it's a adaptation of an old manga. So, you know, hopefully there's going to be some nerds willing to subtitle this. Ooh. Oh, fans of the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Hori's Speaking not of- the only. Oh, damn it. Go ahead, dude. Oh, no, no, no. You got it. You got it. I'll, I'll let you say it. You got this. You got this. Uh, but I said Hot Gimmick isn't the only thing we're adapting now. Um, we, we got. We had a uh, Video Girl Eye not too long ago featuring mm-hmm. Nishino Nanase. Mm-hmm. But now, coming soon, Video Girl Mai. Dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, the, the sequel series is also getting a live action. Uh, drama, this time mm-hmm. featuring none other than Yamashita. Definitely knows what she's doing, Mizuki, dude, as the titular mm-hmm. video girl Mai. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mizuki and, is the third gen actress. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's been, well, now in two dramas, right? She was in Miki Clinic, which was last season's drama. Mm-hmm. Um, did you watch like two character. episodes of or something? Or how I much watched you like watch? two or three episodes. Did not continue. Um, but she was also... A, was that a movie, I think? I think it was a movie. She played a minor role. Um, that was about a, like these two friends who go to, to a tea ceremony like class or something like that. And Mizuki was like a high oh. school student mm-hmm. who was also mm-hmm. in that class or something. So um, she's been getting a lot of work acting. Which is cool. Mm-hmm. Her uh, look is much better than <laughs> what was initially released. Uh, yeah, yeah, she looks like the character now. Mm-hmm. Dude, I was about to say she looks just like the the character. So, uh, yeah, I didn't actually watch uh, the first Video Girl Eye with Nishino Nanase. I watched like four episodes, maybe. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. I was around the same. So uh, I, I was more into the the, the theme song. Oh hell yeah! Tofu beats my guy. 
Yeah, Fumetsu na Kokoro, dude. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so. That was actually the song for my squats today. But anyways, it's <laughs> coincidence. I always throw some J-pop over my my lifting videos on Instagram. So. Nice, nice. You know, getting that exposure through. Yeah, yeah. In my mm-hmm. own little way, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you can if follow. You guys, if you guys look at the Twitter, and yes. then you scroll down, you see all the good bentos they eat. Yeah, uh, follow the Twitter if you want updates on this whole thing. Uh, they revealed the full cast. And yeah, there's the bentos and stuff. Mm-hmm. Look at she has melon pan. I mean, mm. Some katsu looking thing. Mm. Tasty. So uh you know who else is gonna be in this drama? Oh, do tell. Miss Takeda Rena. Re- oh <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Where's our boy, dude? Where's he been? <laughs> right? Dick McRogers, you all right, man? We miss you, my guy. We still think about in you. In our comments section all the time. Dude, uh, in, during troubled times, when there, there may have not been any comments, you could always <laughs> look forward to one. <laughs> I love Rena Takeda, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the official Twitter has a lot of stuff. You can follow at Video Girl. 2019 for updates if you're really interested if you're a big music mm-hmm. fan I uh, yeah, suggest you check it out should be good she knows what she's I'm doing I'm interested mm-hmm. we're all interested I think I'm uh, I'm gonna be watching this for Takeda Rena dude <laughs> mm. skinny, skinny queen dude Sk- yeah, skinny queen <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's keep going who else is getting stuck? You know who else is in third gen? Ooh, Mizawa Ooh. Minami. Ooh. Look See, we, thought we told you the third gen takeover was strong, oh, dude. Yeah, dude. Nogi, Nogi Zaka is not messing around with this generation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Plum Chan getting a modeling deal. Uh, this was expected to happen mm. eventually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Too, um, it's too strong in the visuals to not, right? Yeah, man. Um, she signed with a uh, magazine with which mm-hmm. also signed Kobayashi Yui of Kiyakizaka and so I don't, I don't know much about with do you, do you nope I didn't actually okay. know this of this magazine until they signed Kobayashi Yui so yeah same word uh, I think they had a picture with, with Shiraishi and it know. was pretty good like I don't know what their aesthetic is you know what I mean yeah I think it's like I don't natural know. with like a little bit of moody editing to it oh, i saw umizawa as more of a can cam look because she has brown hair <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah yeah but yeah can cam already got mizuk uh-huh. so they're like oh crap we can't double dip on the nogi girls mm-hmm. <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't i wouldn't have mind if she went with like no no true I feel like no one wanted her, and then like they're like, "All right, let's talk about it." And then they kept on talking about it, and then they, they got snatched up. I mean, she is more pale skinned than Risa, you know. True. And that didn't stop them, though. Risa's Nonna has a more the, casual cover is pretty, pretty pale skin. You know them editing and makeup. Mm. Yeah, I, mean, I like how we we were talking about like women's magazines <laughs> <laughs> and shit like that. I mean. No, no, so good, but there's a men's no, no. So, oh, I don't know <laughs> shit about men's no, no, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I, I've, I've looked at it like maybe twice in my entire life. Just the cover, <laughs> walking by. Yeah, yeah. But I do like no, no's looks. Uh, feel like, yeah, it's like a little street, but yeah, a little like a casual, of, like, weird, yeah. casual uh, looks, yeah. crossing a little bit over to some like street looks too. So I enjoy mm. that shit. A lot of pants but, going on. Yeah. Crop pants are my thing. To, I like crop pants. Ooh, ooh but, uh, anyway. my guy. But going back to uh, Umezawa, she looks uh, really good in these uh, with shots. Yes. Mm-hmm, so. mm-hmm. Indeed. Time to get her some more experience to prepare her for the <laughs> photo book. <laughs> there we go. Our lewd master. Mm. Nakamura Kazutaka. <laughs> Send her to the lions, dude. <laughs> 
throw in there. Uh, <laughs> Mayan's like, no, she's not ready. Stop she's it. not ready. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll stand in her place. This she's actually my third photo book announcement. Too. <laughs> <laughs> fine, we'll feed her to Leslie Key. Ooh, Leslie Key has. I like Leslie Key's like very editorial style. Very like, yeah, yeah, ah. yeah. Cool. Dude, that's why. I like, okay, ludes aside, um, Yamamoto Sayaka from the other groups had a very like aesthetic photo book. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it knew what it was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like because most of his shoots are very like controlled in the studio. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, and Sayaka's photo book has stuff outside. Yeah, like, yeah, I thought mm-hmm. the most like striking photos happen inside, like mm. where the lighting, you know, is very strong mm. and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, like the the cover photo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, like, even like the like, okay, like I know, like everyone would be like, "Oh, it's because you're a load boy," but like the the shower photos and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. What I liked about it, it, it had like a very, I don't know, what's the word, like, like fashion kind of feel to it right like mm. you would you could see this shit in like an american apparel oh yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. lookbook back yeah, in the yeah. day yeah 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 like um you so. know whereas like typical japanese gravure tends to soften up features mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. know he like leslie key really bumps it up so i, I think that's why i like that. his style it's very uh dynamic yeah. and like the contrast really stands out it's yeah, very like yeah. sharp you know instead of really like glazed over soft mm-hmm, gravy mm-hmm. style so who would you like to see from Nogi Zaka get a Leslie Key book very sharp style I don't know. less soft someone with darker hair mm. for some so reason. you can get more contrast dude like a black hair mm. as music can work I don't know I can see that yeah, yeah I can see that yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, That'd be it's like, I feel like it's a it's the member that could like pose and like make expressions really well. I think that'll mm. work. That's her, yeah, that's the the big thing, right? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's almost like a fashion shoot, right? Yeah. yeah. Like on the runway kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can see I can see Mizuki. Both of them know what they're doing. Combine them together. There you go. So much knowledge. Uh huh. <laughs> Mm. It's like the mm. key. Both of them know what they're doing, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it's like they're playing each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Games of Thrones, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, dude. Uh, she thinks I'm trying to go for this, but I'm really going for this. And what I'm he sh- doesn't know is I know what he wants <laughs> me to know, but I know what yeah, I exactly. want. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Uh, Umezawa will be uh, on the May issue of With, so look out for that. That's uh, our premiere one, right? Yep, yep. You could probably so, speaking uh, of, follow uh, Twitters and stuff like that to get updates. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Mm-hmm. Speaking of photos, we got some uh, new photos released. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, the jacket covers for Nogizaka's fourth album have oh, been released along with its track lists. Indeed. Fourth you album got- is called Imaga Omoi de ni naru made. Right? Did you guys uh, take a look at the, the jacket covers yet? Yeah, the jacket yes. covers uh surprisingly simple, had nothing to do with Nogizaka. <laughs> I, I like the concept. You know, considering the title is like until today become memories. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? And so that's what the, the cover is supposed to illustrate that they have become memories, right? So that's like, yeah, you know, it's, it's like in like some uh, fictitious gallery, museum of yeah, museum stuff. Nogizaka, and there's a little girl walking by, looking upon the memories of Nogizaka. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like that they choose to keep the, the little girl somewhat mysterious, right? Because she's not supposed, even though she's the protagonist, she's not the focal point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, it's a uh, Nogizaka, right? Yeah. But, um, that being said, it is a little bit weird because it's like <laughs> clearly photoshopped pictures in. Yeah, so, you know what um, I mean into the into the frames. Like really Nogizaka, it's not a new shoot that Nogi did for the cover, right? They yeah. they probably have photos like in the booklet and stuff, right? Maybe mm. who knows? 
I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as far as the cover goes, uh, the only thing new here is the, the little girl mm-hmm. and like the wall and stuff. Yeah. Or who knows? The wall might just be Photoshop too. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just I don't, yeah, I don't like that. You can really tell that the the photos have just been photoshopped into the wall. Like I, I can get why this might be tedious, but they've done other more complicated shoots. I wish mm-hmm. they would have physically yeah, framed like, the photos. What's dumb pictures, is that yeah. like some of the like it's like cut off and stuff. Like what? I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just look at type B. Type B. Which one is that? Is that the one on like the diagonal shot? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's so the one facing the corner at an angle. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. She's but, like, like Yeah, where is the frame? Why is she like overlaid over the the frames and stuff? Like at first, I thought it was the reflection of the light coming from the frames, but then you could physically see the frame and the wall. That is so. Mm-hmm. What a strange uh, choice. I, I mm. feel like it's like some like college like, photo comp- like compositing class. Mm. And then some dude just like just That's such too a hard, huge you error. Know? Why do you <laughs> what? Well no, I think like How I think it was notice? obviously like a stylist like a stylistic choice. Yeah, but, but none like, of the other ones are like that. But yeah, that's what I'm saying though. I think that like it was like I don't know, someone's trying to be artsy and it just didn't <laughs> with one translate. Photo? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like it I, mean, would, I understand if like all of them were like that. Yeah, it would make sense if the girl was transparent in all the covers, but because she's like a little ghosty. It's ghost, only right? it's mm-hmm. only on that specific one at the corner. Like all the other ones are fine. Well, also I don't like how uh, it's just like randomly cropped covers from the no- other nogi jackets. Mm-hmm. Right? There's like the uh, triangular frame. <laughs> Then we see a face. <laughs> yeah, where it like cuts their face in half. Like, yeah, what the Ozono hell? and what, I'm thinking Yoda's face gets cut why is, off. Right? Why is that a thing? I don't. Get and it. then there's like a. I think it's Jikochu, where it's like their legs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? That one's just really awkward because it's like, uh, what type is that one? It's like D or something like that. Uh, or no, it's a theater it's edition, and it's just like, really like. Okay, I get that the highlights on the girl, and you want me to focus on the girl, but there's just a row of legs, you know, like <laughs> yeah, it feels like they didn't put any thought on those. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, framed, I think that's my big thing. That's I supposed think, to be like a like a gallery or a museum, right? It's like, oh, look at these nice, nice, like mm-hmm. nicely framed photos, but it's mm-hmm. like just random. <laughs> it was a good concept that was just executed poorly. Yeah, and, and, you know what and I mean? then on type on type B, it looks like the like, well, we have I don't I don't know what else to put, so I'll just put these flowers on here. Oh, I think <laughs> that's uh, Nigemiza related, right? Oh, is it? Yeah. How about how yeah, about yeah. the one that's just Boca? A Boca. Oh, I don't know what that's Boca. from. Wait, which which one? Where 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 we're looking on at? Type, on type B, the ghost one. Okay, the ghost one. It's the one under uh, the synchronicity group photo with the three. Oh. I don't know what that's from. And there's the same know. exact one if you look at the front one above Yoda, like the same Boca, just not stretched yeah, out dude. as much. Yeah, that's, I don't know, man. It's like it. Do you guys just get lazy, like trying to find photos to put? <laughs> Was it, it like a? Oh, oh, we have to do this project real quick. <laughs> just, just do it real quick. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah. Um, we don't have time to find another. And I, and another I don't like how saturated color. the purple on the wall is. Is it I too mean, I, I get that it's like Nogizaka purple, too much right? Purple for you. Yeah, because then it just makes everything else look hideous mm. next to it. And I think the orange light is what throws me off. Because it's like, kind of, like if you look at, again, type B, <laughs> you see the orange light and it's like reflecting yeah. off a wall so it doesn't make you nogi purple anymore. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, I don't know, there's a reason why you go to a, a, a gallery and the walls are white, right? Like, because mm. the color of the backdrop influences the photo that you're looking at. And so, like, I don't know, man, like, if you're going to have all of these different colored pictures not fit any kind of theme, at least desaturate the wall a little bit, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, Yeah, so, I do like the N46, though. Yeah. Yeah, the N46 looks clean. You know, the the topography and stuff looks nice. Mm -hmm. The typesetting, rather. Um, Mm -hmm. uh, But, uh... 
That was quite a bit of time talking shit about just the us covers. complaining about it. <laughs> Let's just go on the overall track list. nice execute or nice concept, bad nice execution. Idea, uh, yeah, they also yeah have the track list. See what it should have been. It should have been the members in the actual frames and then them like looking on to seeing something. Well, like some kind of like, like Harry Potter living painting type shit. They're all looking yeah, yeah, at the girl like. like uh-huh. <laughs> it should have been like that. Spooky, dude. But yeah, they, I mean, I, 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 yeah, if they were doing something like that, like mm. I don't know, or at least I don't know, give some something new besides the little girl. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But uh, let's look at the track list. They have about eight, nine new songs. So the main yeah. new song is called Arigachi na Renai, right? Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Type one or. Song one, right? Um, so it's going to have you know, pretty regular members. Natsu, Ikuda, Erika. Yuri is um, there. Saiyan, Plumchan, Peach Kid, Asuka. You dead? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reika. Reika, Denchan, Mayan, Shinuch, mm-hmm. Kaz, mm-hmm. Oshino, Hori, Seringo, Izuki, Yoda. Usual mm-hmm. suspects. Um, mm-hmm. And then we have Moshikimi ga Inakereba. So, oh, that's Eto the Eto Misa solo, which uh, oh, I guess she okay. performed on her solo line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Kis no whatever. I can't read this kanji. Shuriken. <laughs> Shuriken. Like, like, like sh- ninjas? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's the fourth gen song. Because I don't recognize Ooh. any of this kanji. Ooh, I hope they're not as fuck in the music video, Ooh. dude. Yeah, this is Sakura and, and Ray. The only names I remember because they're And then, and then the traitor <laughs> has the other group's logo with the slash in the middle. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Jimmy, why do you have that on the ready? <laughs> God damn it, dude. What is that, the leaf? <sighs> oh, I got the leaf, bruh. Nani mo marashiranu udatte udatte datte iku. Why do you have that right at your desk? Irameku asega oboreru no sa. I forget. It was because I was going to make some joke on the episode. I can't remember what it was though. I was going to like put a flashcard and like write. So- what was it? We had dude? many Nart references when Hinata. No, this, this is announced. from way before that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you I just kept it there? <laughs> yeah, but it's just been there since. Anyway, let's keep going with the track list. What else What else they got? Uh, wow, man. I can't read these songs. Ho, ho, zue, ni suite, something or other. Wait, where, where are you looking at? Type A. Uh, there's one, it's a song with What's Manatsu, Yutan, Mayan, Maichun, and Kaz. Oh yeah, um, and then there's another one, a trio with Ikuchan, Kubo, and Reika. That's oh, a, that one. That's uh, a weird unit. Po- okay, Pochito. Uh, well, yeah. What a what a weird unit. What a, hmm. have they been in? Have they been together before? I guess Ikuta. Oh, I guess they're the stage play people. Uh, okay, makes sense. Reika was in that Rebecca stage play for a long time. Hmm. Uh, let's see what else they got. And then S- Sairingo Gundan has a song. Uh, hopefully, it's that song they keep on performing but never actually uh-huh. released. All right, so Ringo, Karin, my lord, Kotoko, yeah, Sairingo, and Ranze. Boshuchu. We are taking applications, dude. We're recruiting. And then for there's a. Uh, the Gundan. A trio of second gen. The kind of. Uh, Pushed ones, or they were like mm-hmm. the main prospects of second generation. Key Chan, mm-hmm. Hori, and Miria. Mm-hmm. Million Love. Million Love. Oh, Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola, dude. Mm. Mm, give me that cheese, boys. Mm, tasty. <laughs> uh, and then, what else? And then there's the Zambi song with the Zambi Mosugu cast. Mosugu Zambi Densetsu, dude. And Manatsu. And all, all the people who are in it. Yeah. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight new songs. Eight. Oh. That feels like much less yeah. than mm-hmm. before. 
Like, I feel like the entire second CD would be like yeah. uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like new songs and stuff before. Interesting. But now you just got a couple mixed in, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like a couple new ones with uh, each each version and then, of, mm-hmm. of course, the Arigachi Nao and I. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is the album song, right? Let me see. I'm looking through like the the previous album. And uh it seemed like it has more. One, two, three, mm. six. Yeah, I feel like there's been more before. At least like an album's length worth. Say mm. But Probably. Well, the the way they spaced it out make it makes it seem like it's yeah, it's way less, There's right? Not a lot. Um, so, mm-hmm. but still, but then you still if, get uh, some new songs. <laughs> if you count the under album, I guess that's that's a lot of new songs there too. Mm. Right? But damn, the under album came it's out a while, while ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Time flies. Uh, uh-huh. So yeah, fourth album. That's when we first started talking to Nick when that came out. Oh yeah, because huh. remember they gave, they gave him a CD. That's right. But yeah, fourth album comes out April seventeen. So, chat says no under song. It seems like they've done away with the unders. I don't know. <laughs> That's why Karen was like, "I'm out, dude." Right? Fuck this shit. When like, was the last under show? Was that Christmas? Like the under as a unit, I feel like they've kind of slowly gone away from that. Have they lost a lot of numbers? Is that why? I don't know. Is it going to be called something else? No, I don't. I don't know. There's a lot of new members that. Yeah, maybe because they added new members, they're going to start to like divide them Sorry. differently nowadays. I don't mm. know. <laughs> leftover first gen, leftover second gen. <laughs> Damn it. Unpopular. Who leftovers, dude? That's so gen. messed up. Yeah. That kind of thing. I feel like they, they you know, try new things, kind of learning from past releases. Mm. Try to give everyone some kind of equal. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like it when they do the generation songs. Oh, yeah, that was cool. Mm-hmm. From what? Influent? No. Synchronicity, was it? That was cool. I like that. No, it was, it, I think it was Influencer. Because that's where Third Gen did. When Ikoma left. They did it. That, that's, that's synchronicity. Yeah. So they've done it twice, maybe at least. Mm-hmm. But uh, anyway, yeah, that's the deets for the fourth album. Mm-hmm. Pick, pick it up. For that. Yeah, pick it up. Support. Get, get them Blu-rays. Have they said what's in the Blu-ray mm-hmm. things? Did we ever talk about that? Yes, we did. So there's the very <laughs> limited version. The Blu-ray of that will have uh the last few concerts oh yeah, yeah I remember or the last few performances from the like eight graduates that they had <laughs> over the past year uh-huh. or so uh the mm-hmm. other two types will have live footage like live performances from their summer tour mm-hmm. so i think there's one that has like something else that's not concert right mm-hmm. so are they all concert footage they're all concert footage. Yeah. No. Oh. So anyway, that is the end of the current events. It's time for the real part of the episode. <gasps> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, no. Show around. At least say this. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, this is the segment of the podcast where we recap Sakamichi series TV shows. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, such as Hiragana Oshi, Hinata Zaka's TV show, which I believe will change soon. I mean, the name. Mm-hmm. Are we going to take eventually. bets on the name? Hinata Zaka. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Why? <laughs> Taking bets on We're the name. Bets on the name. Oh, the on the name? name? Oh, okay. Um, it's going to be called... Because um, the obvious answer is Hinata Zaka Oshi, right? Oshi. Mm. But, but they never just do what they should think. It's not that simple. simple. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Um, I, I'm gonna go with uh, Hinata Zakawa Byakuga no Moto. <laughs> God damn it! That's what it's gonna be. All right, no other, no other guesses. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> that's what it's gonna be. Uh, so yeah, I that's like Hinata's show. Keaki te kakenai, which is Keaki Zaka show and Nogi Zaka Kojichu, Nogi Zaka show. And unfortunately, we have the new one, Sakamichi Terebi, which mm-hmm. has all three groups. Mm-hmm. Mm. Three? But there's one missing. <laughs> the best one. See, that's, that's why I fell asleep watching it, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sakamichi Terebi does not have Yoshimoto Zaka. That's a mistake. A travesty. A damn travesty. That's why you're reluctant to cover this show. Because it excludes the best one of all. I mean, if you're, mar- if you're saying, hey, this is Sakamichi Terebi, it better include all the Sakamichi yeah, series man. groups. You can't be like that. <laughs> right? You can't like just be like, oh, look at this, look at this. Oh, no, I'll take it away. That's yeah. like if you had like, I don't know. Like uh, like Nogizaka show, right? And then, like first gen wasn't there at all. If it was just second yeah, gen, like what 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 is this? <laughs> it's not Saka- I like how we complain that Sakamichi Terebi doesn't have Yoshimoto Saka, but we don't even cover Yoshimoto Saka show. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't bring our hypocrisy into this, all right? I Aren't watch changing- it once in a while. Are they changing Sayori? Oh, it's yeah? like a different person? I think so. I think I read something like uh, that. She, is she done with the... Uh-huh. Is that a sign? Dude, my favorite part of that show is when she does stuff with the dude. Like, they do, like, stupid comedy gags. Like, when mm-hmm. they introduce, you know, at the beginning of the show, the comedian dude's like, oh, like, hey, hello, it's time for another show. And then he introduces himself. But then Sairingo would be like, She'd stand up and she'd do a joke with like the other guy. Mm-hmm. It's stupid. There's like a compilation of it somewhere. But anyway, once so, Yoshimoto uh, Zaka gets like a show similar to the other three, mm. then it's on. Do you know that shit's like gonna be Donkey so Kong. lit, dude? <laughs> the guy is gonna be so good on that show. They're all professionals <laughs> yeah. over here. But anyway, uh, Let's talk about Hiragana Oshi. They're continuing the hit campaign where they're running mm-hmm. all the way More down running. the Ekiden, all the way all all the way to Shizuoka. I think that's where it is. Anyway, they're heading to this temple. Uh, last week we left off with the sash or the baton getting passed to Hamagishi Hiyori and Sasaki Mire. Mm-hmm. And um, so yeah, they're running and their segment. Uh, they're running. They're all running twelve kilometer segments, and so their segment like is right next to the beach, and like uh, it shows them back at the trial where they were testing how how fast each member runs. Those two were like towards the bottom, very <laughs> slow. Mm-hmm. So they're, like they're just like jogging, but you can pro- probably walk faster than <laughs> you know? um, mm-hmm. So it gets all cold and they like there's some headwind and it's all yeah, by the ocean, right? So it's like really mm-hmm. cold winds. Like, oh no, this isn't good for the time. They're slow. And yeah, there's wind gonna pushing them back. Slowing down even further, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But they finally make it to the next pair where uh, Saito Kyoko and uh, Tomita Suzuka Paripichan. Mm-hmm. And um, it's all late in the day, like in the afternoon. And so they have the last segment before that day ends. So they're running to their hotel. Um, mm-hmm. And they're all being stupid, like acting all funny and stuff. <laughs> uh-huh. um, you know, just messing around. But they were also <laughs> really, really slow. So uh-huh. like they make it to the hotel and it's nighttime. <laughs> it's like, bruh. And everyone else is waiting there. And so uh, at the hotel, there's a video message from Audrey. It's like, all right, you guys are doing good. Gun mm-hmm. mate. Wish we could be there. <laughs> you know, and they like they had like food and snacks and whatnot. And so mm-hmm. the next morning, the run begins at seven AM and it starts with Matsuda Konoka 
and U- Iguchi Mao. <laughs> uh-huh. So like they're running, but then I- all Iguchi does for like the two hours that they run their segment is like ramble on. <laughs> Do you need to make it run faster? Mao does, <laughs> and then Matsuda is just there, like uh huh, oh yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. It's like damn. So let me run a little faster so I can get rid of the situation. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, and so uh, they get to the next pair, and it's Higashimura mm-hmm. and Nibu. Mm-hmm. Um, and they probably, up to this point, they have like the hardest segment to run because their segment is all uphill. It's like mm-hmm. all uphill through Hakone. rising the slope. Yeah, and they they are running up the slope. So the trainer's there and he's all like a little concerned. Mm. Um, like these two are pretty like they're pretty fit, but then bro, they're running uphill for 12 kilometers pretty much. And like it's pretty like mm-hmm. you, you know, decent grade. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not 40 for 12 kilometers, really you'll feel you feel the incline, right? Oh, yeah. they're, they're like running through a mountain city type of thing, right? Mm. So like and then Ryan Nibu's like, oh my god, dude, I'm fucking dying over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my poor Nibu, dude. You guys see more like, ah, come on, man, let's go. <laughs> How is she not tired? What is this person? <laughs> uh, they finally make it, though, to the next pair. Mm-hmm. Who are Bemiho and Kakizaki Bemi. But they'll get to that next week. This is a three-episode, maybe four uh, campaign. Mm-hmm. This one's taking a while. I thought it was only going to be two episodes long, but mm-hmm. here we are. I don't know how much more of people running it could take. <laughs> it should be these it's two. There's only one leg left, right? Yeah. After Bemiho oh. and, and Memi. It it's probably going to finish it, then they're going to have like the little conclusion part or whatever, and then like mm-hmm. start yeah, everyone's in tears. Like, oh. they, yeah. they do their. They'll, they'll talk about it. Yeah. Uh, their mm-hmm. blessings or whatever at the, the shrine and whatnot. And then it'll end because that's when Hewn actually comes out this week mm. so there you and go and then that's when the show will change titles <laughs> oh probably maybe they'll maybe. wait for that mm. uh, to but, Hinata Zakawa Byakugan ga moteru dude uh, they do their like hand symbols and <laughs> yeah dude anyway, at the very end of the episode um, Takase Higashimura and Ushio uh, they promo the pop-up store at Shibuya Marukyu ooh and they're like showing off the shirt and the mugs. Hey, look, you can buy this. And also, there's this thing. <laughs> look at all our, our uh, outfits and shit from previous songs that we did. Uh, stuff like that. So, if anyone is out there, want to proxy some bros, Hinata goods, hit us up. Uh, next show is Keakite. Kakenai. The tree oh, man. Grows. I was like looking forward to this, but I fell asleep. Ooh, this, this was, was a good episode. Sakamichi TV. This one is pretty this fun. Is a, this is a good episode, Jimmy. So it's a. I'll watch it after It's a show. pairing episode similar to the fan requested ones. Remember back then? Yeah, yeah, back in the day. Uh, but this time it's first gen, a first gen member and a second gen member. Mm-hmm. And so the best pair who wins get the most points get the Sawabe prize. Just like last mm-hmm. time. Ooh. Um, and so how they are paired is there are a number of cards on the table and first gen will choose a card and it'll, it'll either have the name of a second gen member or they get to be a zombie and they get the makeup done and act like a zombie and shit mm-hmm. and so like, Tsuchi's there is like I'd like uh, I'd like the members to be zombies because he's like all for the zombie because they have to act like mm-hmm. one you know they did that before. Remember, like a past episode where it was like, Ugh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that was when like fucking Bayrisa or Bayrika was Rika, like, yeah, Rika, all funny and shit, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, not myself, can be someone else. You know, first gen go up three at a time. So the mm-hmm. first three is like is Pon Moria and Shiori. So she's like, I I really want Pon to be a zombie, please. Mm-hmm. So she'll go all out. And actually act uh-huh. like a zombie. And so she gets a card and it's a zombie. And he's like, mm-hmm. thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and so uh, Moria also gets the zombie card. Mm-hmm. 
And so she's like, uh, Sato, though, ah, I don't need her to be a zombie. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. It's, cool. <laughs> it's like, nah, it's, sh- I'm, it's I'm sure. cool. <laughs> uh, lucky for both of them, Shiori is paired with Inoue Rina. Um, I don't remember what she is. Don't remember these names yeah. right now. Uh, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna look at this in like a couple months. We'll be like, how do we not know who she was? I was freaking it's scrubs. Like, she's the best one. <laughs> Feel dude. Feel casuals. Wow. Uh, people in the future will be watching this and be like, how do they not know who Inoue Rina is? This is like the, I don't know, second episode with the new members, guys. <laughs> Dude, see, I was trying to cheat and go to the wiki. Do you know what it says right now for Inoue Rina? What does it say? Inoue Rina is a member of Keaki Zaka 46's Kanji Keaki Zaka 46. <laughs> Kanji doesn't That's exist it. anymore. That's it. That's, That's not all a thing it says. Uh, so the next three Ishimori, Sugai, and Risa. Suchi's like, I don't need Ishimori to be a zombie. <laughs> It's like, bro, yeah. come on. Like, Yo, what are these lines on the cards? Is this the numbers mean? <laughs> yeah. He's like, the f- that's like, so you know if it's six or nine. The bottom. The bottom. Reta- <laughs> <laughs> it's just like great. So like, this is exactly why, exactly why I don't want her. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, there's more just getting the roast all episode. Uh, and so Ishimori gets a card and it's Yamasaki Tan, the young one. The mm-hmm. babu. And they're like, oh man, this is not good. Ten, <laughs> ten chan, this ain't good. <laughs> uh, Sugai gets paired with Matsudaira, Viko. Mm. Oh, this dumb chick, dude. What a, what a pair. <laughs> and it's kind of like, like awkward because they're like, oh, Sugai, have you uh, sp- spoken with uh, Matsudaira before? She's like, oh, not really. It's like, what? Are you, haven't you been in the group for like months now? How do you guys not communicate? <laughs> Damn, bad captain. Uh, it's like, yo, yeah, Matsudara seems like a, a really funny person, so that's cool. And Risa gets paired with Fujiyoshi Karin. Fujiyoshi is like, oh, hajime mashite. <laughs> what? <Yeah. laughs> it's like, wait, this isn't the first time you met. What the hell? And Risa's like, uh, I'm, I'm like interested in her, you know, like, she, she said, chotto iro iro. Right? It's like, I kind of want to, like, and they're like, what, dude? What, what are you trying to... <laughs> what are you suggesting? <laughs> uh, and so the third pair are people. Set of people. Ozeki, Wemu, and Rika. Uh, Ozeki is paired with Tamura Hono, the best second Ooh. gen. And Hono's like, Ureshi des or whatever. But mm-hmm. her face doesn't say it at all. And they're like, are you sure? Or like... <laughs> What's so good about being paired with yeah, Ozeki? Yeah, I I love Ozeki style. Like, what are you, why, what are you happy about getting paired with Ozeki? It's like, oh, just being with her, I'm happy. But it's like on the inside, she's probably like, God damn it. <laughs> uh, Rika is paired with Takemoto Yui, the athletic one, and then Uemu paired with Seki Yumiko, and then they like fast forward. Oh, by the way, Nagasawa Kun is with Morita Hikaru. And uh, Habu, it's with uh, Matsudarina, the bank chick. Mm-hmm. So you know, Habu's dumb, Matsuda's smart. <laughs> mm-hmm. Try to balance it out, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, and they're like, yo, so Habu, have you like talked with her before? Uh, what's up? She's like, yeah, remember we did like the a skit together about going to a bank. Wait, wait, Jimmy, Jimmy, do you remember this? When they did a bank skit together. Nope. Because they cut it out of the episode. So bad. <laughs> I forgot Jimmy was looking at the dog for a second. <laughs> so bad they snipped that out. And so uh, the rest of the first gen are zombies. So like Suzumon, Fuchan, Pon, Moria. Who else? The rest of them. Who I did not mention. <laughs> Everyone else. They're zombies. So they go back. Get the zombie makeup done. They come back out. Mm-hmm. Tsuchi is also a zombie. Mm-hmm. He has like a bowl of candy. Or like it's, it's like meat or some shit. Mm-hmm. It's like, alright, if, you, if you're if you a good zombie, I'll give you this. And it's like a prize for the zombies. And so the game they play is like... They're in a cardboard box and they have to try to get out as fast mm-hmm. as they can. And it's like taped and everything. Like packaged. Mm-hmm. And so what the first and second gen pairs need to do is just... They just need to get out before the zombies do to get points. Mm-hmm. So like in the first round, we had Nagasawa and Morita. 
we said Fujiyoshi, uh, Shiori and Inoue versus Moria Zombie and Pon Zombie. It's funny, like Suchi and Soabe were making like jokes. It's like, oh, how do you think she's going to get out? Oh, I don't know. Moria's probably just going to like punch her way through <laughs> mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And it's like the tall members are barely like fitting in. Right? Oh, yeah. so they're all like, <laughs> they're, like, over, like ah. yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so they go and everyone gets out before the zombie. It was really close between all the pairs. Mm-hmm. The zombie pair struggles to get out. They're doing <laughs> and like, with, like Moria in there. <laughs> right? They're like trying different techniques. Some like kick their way out. Mm-hmm. Um, like some just stood up. <laughs> mm-hmm. Literally. Um, so zombie is last. All the teams mm-hmm. get points. Round two, Sugai and Matsudaira. Habu and Matsuda, Wemura and Seki, and then versus Koike Zombie and Fu Chan Zombie. Mm-hmm. And freaking like Sugai and Matsudaira just like destroy the box. <laughs> it's all over the place. It's the box just like opens up and they walk out like, ah, mm-hmm. <laughs> we are free. Right. Mm-hmm. What was he saying? The, 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 the Pillar uh, Men theme starts playing in the background. <laughs> 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 what was he saying about <laughs> Uemura? <laughs> Oh, I think huh? he was like, oh, when we're like, she's pretty short, right? So like, mm-hmm. all she needs to do is stand up and like her head would just stick out of the box or whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyway, the zombie pair loses again. They can't even get out, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're like, yo, we can't get out. And like the uh-huh. box is shaking uh-huh. while everyone's just standing there. They're done. Uh-huh. And, so, like, and then Tsuchi, they just keep on going. <laughs> yeah, Tsuchi and Sawabi just leave them in the box and they're like yeah. screaming. <laughs> And then they start pushing the box out of the way. And right, like, they start like, getting out. <laughs> so she's like, get on top of the box. No, you're not getting out. <laughs> <laughs> I like how when they finally get out, they're like still in the box and there's like all the candy <laughs> that they got from Tsuchi. <laughs> and so round three, the rest of them. Uh, Rika, Takemoto Yui, Ishimori, and Yamasaki, Ozek, and Hono versus uh, Mon Zombie and Moria Zombie. Mm-hmm. Should be a strong zombie pair. Mm-hmm. Ooh, but unfortunately, uh, they are last once again. That's <laughs> shameful uh-huh. display by the zombie mm-hmm. pair. Um, it's weird. Yeah. Like, Rika, They're starting to decompose. They can't help it. They can't get uh, straight yeah, together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rika's team gets out from like under the box. <laughs> they, they like break out and then like the box just like goes above them. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty funny. Um, mm-hmm. Tsuchi was like, what's up with these second gen members, man? They're freaking crazy. What the hell? <laughs> getting out so easily from this box? What is this? Mm-hmm. Not even Moria can get out. <laughs> right? I think Moria is just tired and defeated. Mm-hmm. It's broken from being a first gen member. <laughs> She's not fresh anymore. And then, um, but yeah, that's the game for the week. It'll continue next week mm-hmm. with more stupid games. Should be mm-hmm. pretty entertaining. Ooh, ooh baby. Give mm. me them stupid games. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty chaotic episode. So, uh, I have high hopes for second gen. You know, mm-hmm. you know, normalize and make it not so emo. At least for the first few months. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. Then I, be you know, I, even if I'm a little bit tired of it, I'm down with the emo songs as long as like they aren't emo during the show too, you know? Mm. It's never like been we need a, a problem, really, on this we're show. We're not emo, but, like, they're they're not wild childs, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, like, and I want that second gen to, like, just make all these kids crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> just finally get them out of their shyness? Yeah, yeah, like, freaking uh, Yamazaki Ten during her intro, making them do that stupid little fucking mm-hmm. comedy routine or whatever. Uh, like, yeah. I was like, mm. oh, I shit. welcome, I was like, mm. I welcome that. Yes. Yeah, so, yes. uh. Give it to me. Looking forward to the second part of that. Should be good. Next show is Nogizaka Kojichu. Mm-hmm. Dawn. They're continuing with the fourth gen search for the most or the least athletic member. Mm. It's, uh, it's all in the studio this time. And so they, they're expanding on the ladder training exercise. We have to like it's like the soccer or whatever. There's a ladder mm-hmm. on the floor. Um, and so the first thing they do is this like shuffling step thing where you have to like step inside 
and then outside, inside, mm-hmm. and inside. Sorry. Yeah, like outside, more agility inside, drills inside, outside, with the ladder. Inside, inside, yeah, yeah. Outside, inside, inside. So it's it's it seems pretty confusing. Um, they have the a few members who are pretty not athletic. Try it out, and most are are pretty bad at it. Right there, mm-hmm. they're kind of like oh uh, what what, but they kind of mm-hmm. just like run through all keep, and it's fine. They're like oh, we got mm-hmm. Mukai now. She's all confident and shit. Yeah, she's like, mm. like the way well, she know, does she's it. Like, is- you know, my my older brother played football, so he had to do agility drills quite a bit. Watched <laughs> mm-hmm. him practice, so I got mm-hmm. I got this. And mm-hmm. yeah, you know, her attempt was pretty chaotic looking. She's all like, <laughs> 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 and so like she gets through it, and she looks back like, <laughs> like, like I got you. yeah, <laughs> that doya gal, and they're like, that was uh-huh. terrible. What the hell was that? <laughs> she did not inherit my athleticism. <laughs> and uh you just know, my love for food kakashi sayaka she seemed to be like the worst at everything so she <laughs> tries it and she kind of just like stumbles through it somehow and they're like what what so bad and so like himura and shitara try it right and himura is like oh this looks pretty difficult actually like when he's standing mm-hmm. in front of the the ladder it's like oh let me give me a minute and he looks at it for a bit and then he's like all right I got it. And he, like, he gets through it eventually. Uh, the, like, all right, Shitara, dude, try it. Shitara's mm-hmm. like, oh, man, this looks hard. All right, let me, let me try it. And then he like uh-huh. messes up. Uh-huh. And Nogizaka's like, ah, look at him. <laughs> yeah. You fucked like the up. moment he ah, messes up. You dumb bitch. <laughs> yeah, you know. And you're like, oh, damn, dude. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> getting yelled at and shit. Um, and so Matsumura tries it. <laughs> It was like some kind of horror movie. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, dude, if you saw that, like, at a store, like, walking towards you, that would be pretty, like, <laughs> it's like a horror movie right there. Like, if it's a mannequin walking. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, All right, who who can actually do this? And then Eto Misa is like, mm. give me a try. <laughs> and so it shows, like, the, you know, the sponsors going to commercial. But like mm. behind all the logos, Itomisa is just like, yeah, 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 ha, ha, damn, <laughs> crushed it. It's a woman after my own heart, dude. Mm. Uh, and so the next thing with the ladders is this jumping like skip, but it's like a high knee. You know, mm-hmm. it's like you're like skipping, but you're bringing your knee pretty yeah, high. Yeah, like doing knee high skips. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but it's still within the ladders. Yeah, you so, do like step on, on, in between every ladder every time mm-hmm. you skip. So it's more of like a bounce kind of mm-hmm. thing. So Mukai try again. And hers was pretty chaotic. <laughs> and they're like looking at the, the trainer guy. And he's like, I got <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> uh, pretty much everyone was bad at it. They're like, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, it, the Kaz comes down to try. She's like, she like get two steps in. She's like, oh, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Goes back to the beginning. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know. He's getting all flustered and stuff. Mm. And so, like, all right, Himura, try it. He's like, yo, I mm. can't do this. And he tries it. And he's the same as the members. Mm. They try to get. They all sh- like in- instead of skipping and then landing on it, they like skip and then they like press down really hard on like yeah on the next step instead of getting ready for another like mm. skip. Shitara's like, yo, I'm pretty sure I can't do this. So he tries mm. and he can't. And then he messes up his leg, doesn't he, or something like that? Yeah, it's like, yo, I kind of, like, hurt my ankle when I was trying to do that. Because he was wearing, like, dress shoes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, all these agility drills, all I can think about is, did you guys hear about Chris Jones at the NFL Combine? No, what happened? Uh, He was doing his uh, 40-yard dash, right? And then uh, he, like, suddenly falls Mm. during it. But the reason why... Because if you ever watch the combines, they always wear Under Armour, right? Because it's like Under Armour sponsored and everything like that. So it's just dudes in like tight shirts and tight short shorts. Mm-hmm. Apparently, like the, the dick panel for <laughs> shorts came off or something and his dick <laughs> fell out. <laughs> and then so he like fell because he was trying to cover up his dick. <laughs> God damn it. That's not careful. what happened to Nogizaka, but. Unfortunately, no one's dick came out. Um. <laughs> Like, all right, we're we've had it with these members who can't do anything. Who can do mm-hmm. this thing? It's like Kichan. Like, my like, dick will not. Kichan's like, I don't want to do it. She's like, does it? 
Easy peasy. Damn. Uh, after she's like, man, I got this the whole time. Uh, and so the next thing they did was the high jump again, because this is the test, the main test for everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they start at 90 centimeters, and we have Manatsu, Karin, Asuka, Kaz, our trader, Kitagawa Yuri, and Yakubo Mio, the Woda. And then they all make an attempt. Kitagawa just like does a tiger knee on the bar. <laughs> and terrible. Asuka tries to do the uh, diving <laughs> attempt. Mm-hmm. Kaz uh, is like, I'm going to try the flop again for Nishino. Mm. I promised her I'd do this. And so she's like running backwards. And she finally clears it. It's mm. like, Damn, al- it was almost like a, a real Fosbury flop or whatever the hell you call that technique where you like. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's like, oh my God, she cleared it. Mm hmm. Nisa's all crying. It's like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, dude. It's like uh, Manatsu, of course, for more screen time. Just kind of like crossing <laughs> the finish line. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, all right, you guys are terrible. Let's lower the bar. Mm-hmm. Asuka is like, all right, I got this. And she like steps over it. <sighs> like, no, dude, that doesn't count at all. Do that shit <laughs> yeah. again. No attempt to jump. Uh, Karin goes and she's like doing this weird step towards the bar. But she clears mm-hmm. it. Finally. Doesn't have to graduate with that in mind, you know. Mm-hmm. The shame. Mm-hmm. The shame of not clearing. Um, and so they lower it even further to 70. And now the bar is like barely higher than the mat. It's like there's much clearance between the bar mm-hmm. and the mat. And so they all, they all clear. And like my tune's there. Like teaching them how to do it, and I said, "Oh, we got Coach yeah, yeah. Shinuch back there, mm-hmm. like teaching them how to like move their legs." Mm-hmm. So everyone clears except the trader, and she's just bad all around. Damn, they mm-hmm. had to go all the way down to sixty centimeters mm-hmm. for her to finally. And she does a thing with, she does a thing with her head, where she's like, "Oh, how tall is it? Let, let me check." And she feels like, like this with her head. She's like, "Oh, let me see how tall it is." It's, it's like, like, dude, it's <laughs> obviously lower than your height. What the hell are you doing? And so Banana Man rewards the most unathletic member to Kitagawa Yuri, our trader. Mm-hmm. Good job. And they're like, also, Asuka. And Asuka's like, <laughs> the fuck? What? I didn't, I didn't <laughs> think I was the worst. What the hell is this? <laughs> Fortunately, she is. So yeah, we have the most unathletic member now. Our mm-hmm. trader, <laughs> Kitagawa Yuri. Very well done. Congratulations. Uh, she mm-hmm. got a lot of screen time. Mm-hmm. She, hey. she knows the practice. Unlike uh, many of the other fourth gen. You know? mm-hmm. So. You gotta be the best or be the worst. Yeah. But in this case, the best had no screen time whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, the worst had a lot of screen time. Mm-hmm. You gotta know, play your grounds, know the rules. Mm-hmm. So. Let's move All on. Right, guys. So, three shows down. We're now halfway through. <laughs> The variety show roundup. <laughs> Let's try to get this quickly. Sakamichi uh, Terebi. Yeah. This is the new show that replaced mm-hmm. the other group show. But for some mm-hmm. reason, this episode is 90 minutes long. What <laughs> it the didn't hell? feel like it had to be 90 minutes. I, had, I, I watched this at 1.5 speed because it was so long. <laughs> anyway, it starts with Nogizaka birthday concert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we had a uh, Moria and Koike to go watch and report. And so they're like walking around. Oh, look at this venue. It's very nice. We've never performed mm-hmm. in anything this big. Look mm-hmm. at this shit, bro. They go to the arena floor and like Nogizaka's rehearsing. You know, Asuka's in that freaking wire, like flying thingy. She's doing like doing flips, flips and shit. Mm-hmm. And they like, go up to the stands to see the view from there. And they're like, oh, look, someone's on the balloon. That looks like Plum Chan. And they try mm-hmm. to wave at her, but I don't think Plum Chan saw them. Mm-hmm. Right. So busy not trying to fall. And so they, uh, they go try to interview Senpai. Mm-hmm. Koike is all nervous and she's just like, oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> yeah. And so they interview Mayan and, and Ringo. I forgot what they talk about. Uh, and uh, for to, to so, Sayo Ringo as oh, well. Yeah. And they're uh, like, Oh, that's hey, right. You're from Kansai, right? Yeah, Ringo's like to Koike. He's like, "What? You're, 
You're from Kansai? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quick is like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, what the, we talked. Playing Kohaku, <laughs> what the fuck? Man? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, for real? Yeah. <laughs> I was awake for that part. Oh, okay. But I will soon know nothing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. This this episode also had interviews with like f- famous people who are also fans. Mm-hmm. And so they interviewed uh, Inoue Yoshio, who uh, was in the stage play with Ikuta. Mm-hmm. Uh, basically, all the interviews are like, oh, how did you become a fan? Or like, mm-hmm. and then like, what do you like about the group or whatever? Mm-hmm. And so it's just like two questions. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway, uh, Moria and Koike interviewing members. Uh, Koike is like, yo, I got really close to Yoda, Yoda Chan, because when we did mm-hmm. uh, Sakamichi AKB, my position was next to her, so we got along. So Yoda comes out and she's like, oh my God, look at my little child. <laughs> she's all like uh, hugging her and stuff. Um, and then Mukai comes. And Mukai's like, yo, I was like, I'm a Kayaki fan. I was like a fan. I mm-hmm. went to like handshakes and stuff. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, can I get, sh- can, can I shake your hand? Can, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> can I get, can I get the can free I, yoink? Got the handshake for can I free. It's that, handshakes. I thought it's so funny that they're like fans of each other. It's freaking hilarious, mm-hmm. dude. It's so cute, dude. Right. Koike is like a Nogi fan. And then yeah, Hazuki, yeah, she's like all fangirling out. As if he's like a fan of Kayaki in return. Mm-hmm. I thought that was funny. Um. Well, it's from her brother, right? Uh-huh. And so they, they interview uh, Shinuchi and Terada. I was like, yo, dude, Fukyoan was lit, dude. We kept doing this shit. With the, mm-hmm. You know, the choreography. Um, and so they also talked to Paisen and Kaz. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Misa's graduating, right? So uh, they also speak to uh, Momoko and Mizawa, that peach and plum, mm, so good. Best third gen pear. Know what I'm saying <laughs> the fruits. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Peach and plum, so good. Peach and plum, dude. Mm. That's, that should be their unit, dude. Peach and plum. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, like Moria was the one conducting a lot of the interviews because Mor- mm. Moria wants to be all like try hard and serious. So I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta represent. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. is just there, like, I'm, oh I'm my a god, captain, the Quake. No, <laughs> <laughs> being useless over there. Um, so anyway, they also speak to Reika. I don't remember what they mm-hmm. talked about. Um, so yeah, they they watch the concert and it's like a real little recap of yeah, pretty much what we've seen from the mm-hmm. concert. And then they talk to Reika again. After. Mm-hmm. Because just like, what the? Okay. <laughs> uh, before they go to the next one, is another interview, this time with uh, Nakamura Taishi, who's a shogi player, uh, who was in Shogi Focus Ito with Karin. Yeah. Mm. It's like, yeah, uh, I you know, found out about Nogizaka through Karin, and, you know, I got tickets to the shows, you know, Nogi Lives, Under Lives. Show was lit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I bet it was. Mm-hmm. There's a picture of that, like, right? And Karin made a blog post about leaving. There's a picture of uh, her and the shogi dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so it goes to the one of the talking parts with the mm-hmm. captains, Kumi of Hinata Zaka Land. Mm-hmm. We have Sugai. Of the Keaki and Sakurai Reika of Nogizaka. I am popcorn. They're like popcorn at, head. They're like at this hotel mm-hmm. room type thing. There's like drinks and food on the table. Reika just like chills. Ah, what's good, everybody? <laughs> hey. I like yes. how you, you notice like throughout the whole episode, all the Nogi members are like a lot, a lot more like relaxed and very like more commanding of stuff than the others. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, those are like, uh, yeah. yeah that, like, mm-hmm. like Kumi and, and Sugai were like kind of reserved, maybe like nervous because it's Reika. But Reika mm-hmm. was just like, ah, what's up? Mm-hmm. So, how you doing? Mm-hmm. You're, well, you're it, it Hinata also now. Helps. Yeah. It probably helps like being like the senpai, senpai in the too, room, yeah. right? So. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. you, don't, you don't have to worry about like, you yeah. know, disrespecting anybody. Right, right, right. Uh, but so, like, the Nogi members are the ones that like, led conversations throughout the episode. 
It's like, Kumi, congrats on Hinata Zaka. Very mm-hmm. nice. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> she's like asking some guys stuff. I was like, yo, Kiyaki has a cool image, but uh, how are you guys normally? So guy's like, yo, dude, we're, just, we're freaking, we're lame and dumb. Go watch Kiyaki House. Look at that crap, dude. Mm-hmm. Um, that plug. I love Kiyaki House. Um, they're like, oh, uh, Kumi and uh, Suga, you guys hang out a lot? It's like, yeah, we go out and stuff. We're like the same age. You guys like, oh, shit, dude, I'm barely older than you. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we so, should kick it, dude. We should we should bake it. Hmm? She's like, we should kick it, dude. Yeah, let's let's kick it together. And so the, one of the main talking points is like their ideal image of a captain. Mm-hmm. So Reika, like, okay, when like I first started as you know Nogizaka, Takamina was still captain. She was so kantok of the other group, you know, mm-hmm. pretty much a captain of hundreds of members, right? And so she mm-hmm. was like, I tried to imitate how she was like a captain, but I couldn't. So I did my own shit, mm-hmm. you know, and then like more of like a gentle, like not as in your face type of captain or whatever. And so I was like, oh, same. I looked at Takamina too, but I also saw that you can be a captain like Reika. And so Look at that. I'm also going to do my own shit. Mm hmm. And Kumi's are like, I'm new. <laughs> Kumi's like, okay. Uh, next, we had an interview with Kabuki actor Nakamura Kankuro. He's been on Keiki mm-hmm. Takakenai. He wanted to join uh, Katakana Keiki, right? Mm-hmm. And so he was like, yo, my friend showed me Silent Majority on their phone. Not that that shit was dope. So now I'm a fan. And he talks mm-hmm. more about them being like, oh, like their performance and how much feeling they put into it and shit like that. You know, it's very general why I'm a fan type of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so we move on to the first performance, which is Kuroi Hitsuji with an amazing set. Um, Fuchan was not lying in her blog that the, the set for this performance was mint. It was so good. And so mm-hmm. since Dude, if it was okay, I was gonna since I was watching this at one point five speed, Kuroi Hitsuji, especially the rhythm section, was popping off, dude. <laughs> the fucking bass, dude. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of <laughs> slap <laughs> bass <laughs> section. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Um, I was like, I wasn't even paying attention to the performance. I was like, damn. <laughs> so I went back and watched it at normal speed mm-hmm. after boy's recommendation. Uh, that shit was fucking lit, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I actually <laughs> I, I went back like, and watched it to see how the set changed and everything. Mm-hmm. I, I almost would have wished that, like, uh, they would have just shot, like, uh, you know, get some different camera angles, maybe some different lenses, a couple of tighter shots, and then, like, like just made that the music video. Yeah, like a more traditional Kiaki performance video, mm-hmm. right? Instead of, like, you know, the, the story yeah. or whatever. It was good. Yeah. You know, you got to see uh, a lot of the choreography, right? Because this is their mm-hmm, show mm-hmm. now, so obviously the camera yeah. dudes knew what, like, which no, sections. No gimbal guy, dude. No, no weird <laughs> gimbal action. Um, but yeah, it was cool. The lighting was good. Mm. Like, So it first started mm-hmm. off as like this classroom set, right? It looked like a classroom. Mm. There was like a, a blackboard behind with all the black sheet written on it. And then um, as the performance progressed... Like the set started changing, and at the very end, it's like this huge set. Yeah, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With all, like all the lights and like all the set pieces, and decorations and stuff. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. And of course, the you know the members did pretty well too, right? Very uh, emotional performance and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but seriously, go watch that sit, that shit at one point five speed. It's lit. <laughs> Fucking slaps, dude. Yes. Yeah, All I'm saying is, you get them a couple of like 50 millimeter lenses, keep some tight shots. Maybe, maybe some 85s if you're feeling spicy. Mm. And then, like you know, the the general wides. And then we just this is our music video, guys. This is it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I would ah. take this as a replacement. Yeah, it's way better than just people pushing Tetsu around. Mm. <laughs> that shit's getting old. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah. <laughs> or falling there, down, I said being it. pushed. I said it. Yeah. So uh, recommended watch. It's a good performance. Uh, like oh, mm-hmm. like everything. The whole package was good. Mm-hmm. At I like the little solo parts they had. Uh-huh. The little solo parts they had, I think, were good. Where they're passing the yeah. flowers around. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, the flower is a main part of it, mm-hmm. so that's cool. Mm-hmm. And I love. I don't know. Takahiro's sensei's like choreography. I feel has been some of my favorite big idol group choreography because he like uses the numbers that they have. Right. Mm-hmm. That's like, why I feel I, like. Oh, sorry. Okay. Like, I feel like the other group, for example, right? It's like, okay, there's like a bunch of girls on stage, but they're all doing the exact same thing in a box formation, right? Like it's it's pretty straightforward. Maybe it occasionally they'll like, you know, rotate around and do something, right? But it's it's like generally pretty straightforward. Like the box will split, center metal, like people will come up and get featured yeah. and then they'll fan out or whatever, right? But like Taki doesn't say his like choreography always uses like the numbers to create like a, like different formations that adds to the stories. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. you'll notice there are parts when like certain members need to be featured that the other members in the background will like start and they'll slowly all come down at the same time and it like just draws your eyes naturally to the other people. It's like so good. That's mm-hmm. why uh that's why mm-hmm. I like them so much in the mm-hmm. first place. Yeah, uh, yeah. Because of the choreography. But also the choreography can only be as good because, like, the core member doesn't change, right? Whereas the other group, mm. it's mm. it's a rotating member. All the, like the center changes so many times, right? Oh, we need to perform on this show, or we all, mm-hmm. you know, but but we also have like, you know, a squad going out to that area doing this concert, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. like the chore- yeah, exactly. their choreography can't be overly complicated. Because it like yeah, because it's not like a dance crew like, where like yeah, hundreds of you're members always going to be on the left corner for this. Pr- yeah, yeah, yeah. So Kiaki's advantage is that the members are always just the same, right? Though it might change now now that there's a second gen. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's like one of the main things that attracted me to this group in the first place. Mm-hmm. So. Dude, like when they when they make the Techi flower, mm-hmm. and then it's like the top down shot in the camera. That's just so <laughs> slick, dude. Yeah. I mean, they, oh. I guess they're lucky too to have someone as creative as Takahiro Sensei handling the choreography. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So. Oh yeah, dude. He he totally like is the make it point for this group for me. I mean, like, like not to say that I didn't, I don't just like them, but like the choreography is like the part that like okay, now I'm sold. Yeah, you know, I mean, like you, mm-hmm. you can get any other choreographer, right? And it'll be good, mm-hmm. but it's like a little extra thing that he mm-hmm. puts in. Mm-hmm. He's very involved with like their story or whatever. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, uh, that was a good performance. After mm-hmm. that, we had an interview with actress Yoshioka Riho. Uh, she's a Kiaki fan. She was like, uh, yeah, I saw a Silent Majority, and that shit was dope. So now I'm a fan. Just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. Next, we had uh, the other talk segment with Hori Miyona, Kobayashi Yui, and Saito Kyoko. Mm-hmm. Yo, did you watch this, Mr. Box? I did. Why? Why did it suddenly look so nice? <laughs> yeah, it looks super nice. They each had oh, a camera like a tra- shot. A transition, like a transition from like them walking all of a sudden. <laughs> just like, the it's just like <laughs> it's like okay, like we had other little talk segments before, right? Because uh-huh. had like the other girl, like the um, you know Yoshiko Riko or Riho's like interview, right? Mm-hmm. It's just like a normal shot, and then you go to the Miona Yui Pon and Kyoko talk, and it's like, ooh, let's get that wide aperture, yeah. guys. Let's get this. The shallow depth of field, dude. Ooh, let's get this like nice set. The set I'm down with it. It just really the set helps a lot, right? Because you know, there's a lot yeah. of background stuff. Um, yeah, but when they sat down like, and they each had a solo like angle, I was like, damn. Yeah, dude. I was like, ooh, this aesthetic, mm-hmm. buttery, dude. Mm-hmm. And so uh, you know, I feel like that's what they use for Nogi Nogi Koi their drama. I feel like they use like a similar mm-hmm. similar lens or whatever uh, they used. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, they were all awkward with each other and stuff. And they're like, uh-huh, mm-hmm. nice to meet you. Uh-huh. What, 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 but then Hori, as the senpai that she is, she needed to move that conversation, right? So she started asking mm-hmm. questions and shit. Mm-hmm. I'm senpai, you answer to me. <laughs> so they decided to cook nabe. Mm. Um, it's funny because, like, Hori was making pon do all this shit. All right. Yeah, because Hori's dumb, dude. And Hori's like, Hori's like, oh, I'm gonna start cutting like the vegetables. And Kyoko's just there, like, I'm not doing anything. 
<laughs> I'm I'm it's so funny. Like board. she's not contributing at all. She's just kind of like, go, oh okay, I'm stand over here now. <laughs> uh, she's like standing off to the side, <laughs> yeah. like, pouring and porn or cooking. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's so good. They're like talking about their type or whatever and shit like that. Mm-hmm. Porn's like I've never uh, spoken about this before. Mm-hmm. And Hori's like, oh, uh, my man's is a uh, is a dude. Like he'll call me. And mm-hmm. I'll go to the airport, and he's like, "We're going to France." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm booking the like, ticket the now, fuck? Hori. You, when'd you buy the tickets? Right now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, like, <laughs> that's you know how you know he's balling, dude. He's not looking for sales, yeah, dude. He's uh-huh. like, "You want to go? We there, baby." Mm-hmm. And Kyoko's like, "But what about your passport?" It's like, "Oh, he has it with him. Isn't that more creepy?" <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, what the hell? Um, I think that's like she's talking about like they're like well committed at this point, not like casually dating. Mm. But uh, no, I could be wrong. I don't know. Miona's weird. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, she is. There you go, Jimmy. That's that's your goal. Get rich See, that's like can- the Oshi man that I have that I like don't even try to understand her because part of my appeal is that I will never understand <laughs> how her brain works. Uh-huh. Um, and so yeah, they start cooking and stuff, or he's talking to them because mm-hmm. they're kind of awkward to each other. And so we can go to the next segment, which was uh, Mizuki and Keychain. Oh, good combo. Go power harassment on Hinata Zaka. All right. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. So they go to the last Hiragana Keaki slash Hinata debut live. And so they're all interviewing the members. Mm-hmm. Keychain makes Paripi rap. Paripi's <laughs> like, um, yeah, so uh, this is like hinata debut so i thought i mm-hmm. like kind of not i i shouldn't do this yeah it's mm-hmm. kind of a big you day know, it's not yeah. about me i don't want to mm-hmm. make it about me he's like yeah but yeah you can do it right here right <laughs> yeah <laughs> now and maybe he's like oh fuck okay <laughs> yo <laughs> <laughs> gives her the mic and then, you know that like more members come and they're interviewing you best step up to get your rep up <laughs> <laughs> right. Kawatahina comes out with a few others. He, the first thing Ki Chan like notices is like, oh look, you didn't finish curling your hair. That's weird. <laughs> what a noob. Keychain, dude. Like half is curled and like mm. the other is like super straight. Mm. It's like, ah, what a noob. Look at her. And Mizuki's like, oh look at it's Kakizaki. Uh mm-hmm. let's hear let's hear you do some some buriko shit. <laughs> And so Kakizaki's doing this sort of thing. She like winks at the camera. And she's like, oh man, you, you, you like to wink a lot, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, they're mean. And she's like, but you wink back at me, so what the fuck? Right? <laughs> they talk to uh, Higashimura and Kainamura Miku. And they like, kind of teach him the cute dance. With the... Mm-hmm. They just mm-hmm. realize this is a he, Ooh, not a uh-huh. chicken or a bird, right? Because it's he. Mm-hmm. Right? Anyway, uh, and so they talked to Manamo. Manamo's like, oh, can you give us some advice? This is going to be like our debut and shit. Kichan's like, man, just just do it. <laughs> oh, the swoosh comes. <laughs> and so, like, he's like, oh, you do the, like, the sexy shit, huh? Why don't you say some <laughs> sexy stuff to the camera right now? <laughs> Manamo's like, right oh, here. man. <laughs> right now. And she, so like, gives a little message, but doing all sexy. It's like, oh, my God, dude. The power <laughs> harassment is strong. <laughs> These two are just like the worst ever, dude. What the fuck? Hey, wait. You're this kind of person, right? Do that. <laughs> hey, why don't you do this now? Yeah. Right now. You can't say no to me. <laughs> They're like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, so they do a concert recap. It's like two concerts in one, right? Where it's like Hiragana mm-hmm. Kiyaki. Uh, do a, final uh, concert. Have, yeah. Where it's like, oh, their final concert. They're like, oh, thank you. We have been Hiragana Kekizaki. And then mm-hmm. Hinata comes out with like their new overture and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, they do Kyun and all that fun shit. And then at the end, Ki and Mizuki go out there again. Or they go backstage and talk to him. Like, mm-hmm. all right, guys. We got you a present. Here's a box of Hyuga Natsu, which is just like a citrus fruit. Uh, but... The power harassment isn't over. And they're like, ah, there's only like seven though, so uh, junkin' for it. Oh. <laughs> it's junkin' like, for it enough for everybody? You, yeah, dude. You dumb bitch. <laughs> God damn, senpai so bad. Mizuki knows what she's doing. Uh, it's funny, because like, throughout the whole thing, Ki-chan's just like, 
has this like shit shit eating grin on her <laughs> face <laughs> while Hinata's doing all this stuff. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> and next we got an interview with actor Miyakawa Ichirota, who's a Hinata fan. He's like, I met him during a drama shoot, which was Remind. And so he's like, man, there's so many like different types of members and stuff, right? There's like mm-hmm. the dumb members, there's the smart members, there's the sexy members, the cute members, there's the Ooh. goofy members, there's the members that can play this instrument, who are good at this. Like so many different members, man. I decided mm-hmm. to support them because of it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, dude. I never watch Remind. <laughs> watch one episode. I had a friend who is not an idol fan watch it, so he just told me everything that happens. It's like, oh, do what you know? Do you know Kyoko? I'm like, yeah, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so there's a performance of Kyun, the cool like balloons that lit up different colors. Mm-hmm. Pretty nice. And then there's a a news segment, dude, an actual like local or like you know national news type of thing because the mm-hmm. show is too goddamn long. That's a cut in <laughs> a news segment. Uh-huh. For like, I don't know, five, ten minutes. And then it goes back to the captains talking. Mm-hmm. They're still talking about their ideal captain or their ideal mm-hmm. image of a captain. Kumi's like, my ideal captain is Luffy. And they're like, <laughs> Lucky oh, D oh, Luffy. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, Luffy is Luffy like fucks around with the crew all the time, you know. But he's like he's he's all strong and shit, right? Mm-hmm. They, they get all serious that, that when they need to. Like gear Luffy, secondo, dude. Right? When Luffy gets all like, <laughs> let's do this shit. And they're like, word. Mm-hmm. So I guess that kind of happened. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they just keep talking about stuff. Talk about how, uh, have you ever thought of quitting as a captain? And Reika's like, huh, have I ever? <laughs> think about that shit all the time. If I could quit right I'm now. About this morning before I came here. <laughs> I don't think about it right now. <laughs> if I could quit right now, I would. God damn. And they're like, what? It's like, yeah, dude, I didn't want to be a captain. I like I refuse like two or three times probably. Mm-hmm. They're like, damn, word? <laughs> and no and everyone just gives me shit about it all the time. <laughs> And then, like, Kumi... Shai Ringo shows up late. No one says shit about her. <laughs> oh, but I'm late. Oh, this bitch. <laughs> Kumi's like, on, uh... Fucking pulls out a glass of whiskey. <laughs> shit. It's, like, under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> that one giant ice ball in it. <laughs> yeah, damn it. But, yeah, Kumi's like, um, no, I really haven't. You know, they're still young. So guy really mm-hmm. hasn't either. It's a new group, you know. Nogi's been around for, like, eight years and shit. Seven? Mm-hmm. Seventh year birthday, right? Um, yeah. So, like, no, not not really. Is we riding on your wave? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like, Rika had to go through all the mm-hmm. hardships of not trials being and tribulations. Popular, but they kind of are popular, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But they still had to struggle. Mm-hmm. Anyway, otherwise, just ah, here you go. Yeah. Uh, there's a recap of N- Nishino's grad concert. There's like comments from everyone. Mm-hmm. Members. If you watch the concert, Nishino, you pretty much right. watch this. It's just like what, like what their thoughts were when she made her announcement or whatever. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Nishino was just like, oh, I didn't really have any particular reason. I just wanted to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and she's like, I thought it was time for me to go. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it's a bunch of like or, interviews. Or- uh, and then go back to the cooking. Still, mm-hmm. Kyonko is a little bit more involved. She had like tomatoes or something. What do I do with these? <laughs> what do I do with these? I put them down. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's, uh, she's like, so you friends with any of the members? And Hori's like cutting vegetables. He's like, what, what? Like with Kiaki members? Yeah, I hang out with Hirate and shit. Yeah, we went to eat the other day. And they're like, what the fuck? Really? <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you get to hang out with her? How is this possible? <laughs> she's never around. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's because she's kicking it with me. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of from the same, like, area. That's why. Yeah. Mm. their hometown or whatever. Or it's like, uh, is there anything new you guys want to try, like, for work or even in private? Junko's like, uh, I want to do a solo mag cover, my guy. Ooh. Uh, that's pretty difficult, actually. 
Mm. Even the exclusive models don't. But I was thinking more of like the the gravy solo covers, like Shukan, mm, Young, or Young Magazine, and whatever like that, yeah. those kind of things. Shukan, Playboy. I don't know. Man. You got to take off your clothes for that, Kyoko. I don't know. <laughs> um, Pon's like, yeah, I want to do a movie. You know, like like you, uh, you're starring in one, aren't you? <laughs> uh-huh. But she also said, like, as far as my group goes, though, I want to do more shows because we hardly do those. And I was like, damn right. <laughs> freaking Kiyakizaka don't even perform like, well, what do they do they, they go on TV and on radio shows we do TV shows but not like actual concerts right? we have the concerts, birthday yeah. we have uh, Kiyaki Republic mm-hmm. some festivals give here give us That's pretty much more it. concerts you know they've only done one tour right on their yeah on their uh, second year mm. yeah that was like the 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 cursed uh, Techi year. Yeah. Dead Techi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um anyway. This show sucks because it has no Yoshimoto Zaka. Three right, out false of ten. advertising. Three false out advertising. Of, three out of ten would not recommend. One point for each group. <laughs> Yoshimoto Zaka though, seven points. It would be a perfect. Seven score points? Ooh, look at that. But uh as it is. Three out of ten. That's the end. If you want to see some and nice that, shots of Hori, Kyonko, and Pon, and Pon then go ahead and <laughs> watch it. Yep. That's, that's the uh-huh. most uh, nice videoed Kyonko I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. Mm. She looked all aesthetic with her, you know, man voice. It was so good. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that so? <laughs> but uh, anyways, that's uh, the end of the Variety Show Roundup. God, we made it. Like, so you know what that means. It's the end of the show. So the uh, we'll show. see you guys back next week. Make sure that uh, if you haven't already, you subscribe to us on YouTube so you can see all the fun videos we put out. If you haven't mm-hmm. already watched it, make sure you check out uh, Mr. Box trying to become an idol. <laughs> you all worked really hard on that one. And um, yeah, uh, follow us on Twitch so you know when we go live. So you can come and hang out with us in the chat during uh, the recording of these shows. As always, we are the Slope Club. Have a good week, everyone.